Hi guys. So this is a video request from one of my subscribers. Um, he asked me what you should have or take uh, with your BV Poncho for a quick shelter setup. So this is my BV Poncho Extreme made by Exped, as you know it. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of Exped gear. So what I always carry inside my uh, BV Poncho is a ridge line. This is a, a rope, a six millimeter rope that holds up to 300 kilos, and I always take four stakes with me because sometimes you just can't find uh, wood or you're in a vast plain without a lot of trees. It can be really useful, but what's the most useful, in my opinion, is uh, four guy lines. This is uh, this is not a paracord, but you could use paracord. Uh, I've I've added carabiners for an easy setup, but four uh, guy lines measuring about three meters long is what is, in my opinion, the most important in your kit. So. Uh, I will show you in this video several uh, shelter setup with several pieces of gear from here. Uh, the only addition that doesn't uh, fit in the pack is are the two walking poles, walking sticks. These are Exped mountain walking trekking poles, and they are really useful and really uh, great for this reason. The lock are outside; you don't have to twist the poles to set the the height only clip that and clip that and just tighten it and it's uh, they are really tough and really great great walking poles and sometimes really useful to make a quick shelter as you will see in this video okay for this small a-frame I've used uh, four stakes one at each corner of the BB poncho and you have a nice A-frame like that, uh, two walking poles and uh, two ridge lines with a kind of pressing nut or tensioning nuts. So this is a quick setup, you don't use a lot, you can just sleep inside, take your backpack with you and be out of uh, the elements for a night. So this is the first setup I've made. Okay, this one uses only four ridge lines and two stakes. Um, not ridge line, guy lines. Um, two of the guy lines are actually used uh, almost as, as a ridge line. And you have a nice uh, sun shelter. Maybe I've built it, built it a bit high, but it's. Uh, an asymmetrical shelter, uh, almost a diamond shaped, and uh, it works re well as a sun shelter. Okay, now with three stakes and one guy line, guy line, a kind of diamond shaped uh, shelter, only one guy line here, and a nice quick shelter. Okay, for this one I'll show you the, the important nuts. This is a standard A-frame with, um, with the guy line. You see the rope, uh, the four ridge lines and the four stakes. So, uh, so, you may know this nut, but it's, uh, it's a really important one. So, this is how you make it that way and bring the rope inside hope you have seen that and make it with the other hand that way then flip your hand under take the other end of the ro rope just tension it that way so you have a quick release nut just like that and 
now for an easy uh, another easy nut for tensioning that I like to use with that one. Come closer, please. So you twist, you uh, tie the rope twice. The rope is a bit long. Ah. So go twice around this end of the rope. over and like that so you have a easy nut for good and quick tension there are other nuts you can use but this one is pretty quick and easy and I like this one Okay, using four stakes, four guy lines and one ridge line, you can make this quick um, A-frame shelter, something like two or five minutes to set up. Great for making a, a little kitchen in the base camp or just to get out of the elements. You can uh, build it lower so you can have a kind of a-frame tent uh, for better wind protection, but you get the idea. Okay, this is a vari variation on the same principle of the A-frame with the ridge line, four guy lines and uh, four stakes. If you want to have a larger, a wider but shorter uh, shelter just for cooking or like that, you can just flip the poncho so you get the idea a simple lean-to with two guy lines and two upper corners and two stakes to hold it and the two lower corners this is the result Okay, and my last example using two walking poles, four ridge lines, and four stakes is a kind of uh, advanced lean to. Don't really know the name of that shelter. Uh, so the two guy lines are here and there, and the two others are here for tensioning and maintaining the, the poles straight up. Okay, so guys, uh, you've seen the, the examples of uh, various uh, shelters set up with uh, the BV poncho using gear you have already packed with the poncho. Now, uh, the only limit is uh, your imagination. Yeah, that's right, you've heard me right. And, uh, well, thanks for watching, hope this video helps, and see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Bye-bye.